baking video. Um, so I'm going to be doing the old school uh, sprinkle tray bake, never made before. So um, I'm going to see if I can do it and show you how long. So here we have my my tray that I'm going to be using. Um, I got this in a set from Poundland. Uh, they had it on a reduced. It was a uh, it was meant to be ten pounds, but it uh, they had it down to a fiver. It's like quite a lot of pieces, pots, pans, trays. So this is perfect um, for uh, the tray bake. So I'll be using that. We got here the, the butter that I'm gonna be using, um, the sprinkles, um, a bit of vanilla extract, baking powder, icing sugar, self-raising flour, and caster sugar. That is all the ingredients that you need. So I'll run through what exactly you need of each. So it's 300 grams of butter. It's, it says 50 grams of that, but I'll probably just sprinkle until I'm happy. Uh, one tablespoon of that, one, not tablespoon, um, teaspoon, teaspoon, 400 grams of icing sugar, 300 grams of self-raisin, and 300 grams of caster sugar. Yes, it's quite a lot of sugar, but... Uh, that is the recipe uh, you need 95 milliliters of milk and also eight tablespoons of milk as well so first off you preheat your oven to 160 degrees and first we are gonna grease this tray so i'm just going to use a bit of kitchen towel a clean kitchen towel and basically just going to grease I usually use the greaseproof paper to grease is what I should do really uh, because you can get bits of uh, kitchen towel on here so it's not advisable but it should be all right there we go, that's greased around the edges. So that's perfect, so we're gonna set that to one side. I am gonna be using a uh, greaseproof baking paper to line the tin. I need to buy some, buy some more because uh, I'm very low. You don't have to do this. Um, if, if, you, if you grease the tray enough, then you don't have to, but the chef says to me that I should, and my good friend Penny that does a lot of baking, she said that I can do it this way as well. So I'm just going to do it like this, but I don't think there's enough butter because it's not sticking properly. So that will do for now. And we are going to start measuring our ingredients. Guys, I know that you can't really see much because um, I don't have a big tripod. So the next step is going to be you're going to um, cream the butter and the sugar together until it's smooth. Um, so it's fairly simple, so 300 grams of butter, 300 grams of sugar, but I'm going to use my mixing machine. If you don't have a mixing machine, you have to do it, the, you know, the old way, which is, you know, just, um, the old way is the old fashioned wooden spoon, really. Bear with me, just trying to plug this in. didn't set up properly silly me uh, so let's move that out of your way so we're going to start off with the butter first we'll just get a spoon so 300 grams there won't be much butter left after this i wanted to get a big one but they didn't do this one in in the big tub in tesco 
216. Two forty. Two six eight. Two nine six. Oh, that is a lot of butter. Wow. I've gone a bit over, but I'm not going to be scooping it out. I ain't, been, I, I, I ain't doing that. Oh, uh, right. So now we need caster sugar. So we need 300 grams of that. Let's turn the scale to zero. Like I said, all this baking stuff, you know, it's new to me. Um, I only started. I don't usually bake, but I thought, you know, while I've got time, I might as well. So, so that's what, nearly 200, 186, 200, wow, there is a lot of sugar in this, wow. Um, where are we, 297, 98, 303, that'll do. Yeah, this is where the fun begins. We use the machine. Right, so I fixed my machine, so I'm just gonna whisk this until it's all creamed. See, I think that's creamed enough. I did do a bit more mixing uh, just to bring out a lighter colour. Um, I did that for uh, about 15 to 20 seconds. Right guys, so the recipe, it says five eggs, okay? I've only got four, so I'm gonna use four large. Um, but this step is you do one egg, you mix it, then you add the eggs, the next egg, mix it and repeat until you used all your eggs. Uh, this is the way it's got to be. Um, you know, people have different methods of doing things, but this is not my recipe. It's a very good friend of mine. So, so let's just do this. Crack one egg. And then we're gonna mix. We mix. And then we repeat. Right guys, so that is all four eggs now done. And I'll tell you what, that does look kind of good. So the next step now is going to be the flour. So I'm going to weigh it out first because you should do it teaspoon, tablespoon by tablespoon so it becomes nice and smooth. Um, so that is the way we're doing this. Uh, I'm just following the recipe. Once all eggs have been added, add the flour using two tablespoons at a time to make sure the mixture is smooth. Uh, that crash, what, bollop, uh, crash bang wallop that you heard, one of my tops have fell off the railing. I ha I'm hanging up to dry. So this is going now to be 300 grams of self-raising flour. The recipe doesn't say about baking powder, but I'm gonna add it anyway. So we want 300 grams. Hopefully I've got 300 grams in here. Getting there. There we are. 
we have just enough of the flour. Right, so the flour is done. I'm just gonna add one teaspoon of the baking powder. I'm just, just gonna add it into the flour. It's half a sin a table, uh, teaspoon, this is. Not that I'm using sins for this cake because I wouldn't know what the sins would be. I'd have to ask my good friend to see if she would work that out for me. So, the plan with this is one tablespoon, mix it one tablespoon. So I'll show you the first couple of tablespoons and then you just repeat the process until your flowers run out. That's pretty much is, is how it, I'm assuming it goes. That's what the recipe says. So, so one tablespoon, add it into the mixture and then you just mix it until it's nice and smooth, like that. And basically, that's all you're doing. I'd rather not do it this way, but it's what the recipe says, so you've just got to follow what it says, and you can't go wrong. Like that. But I won't carry on filming, otherwise we'll be here all year and I'm sure you don't have all year to be watching this recipe. Right guys, so the next step is adding 95 millilitres of milk and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we need to mix well. So we do it over here just in case there's any spillages. Here we go. Now we need to give that a good mix. It's uh, very watery. Let's speed it up a bit. Perfect. Now, the next stage is we're going to pour this into the tray. Just to let you know, guys, I'm not zoomed in at all, uh, but it does look very close. But next step is going to be pour the mixture in. Sorry, I was just having a little taste. <laughs> there we go. I think this is going to be a lovely cake. Now I need a spoonage. Let's see if I can reach. There we go. Look at that. I do need to get another mixing bowl. I really, I, don't, I really don't like this plastic one. I actually got it for salads. go let's just pour that in I think that will do got most of it out yeah that'll do just gonna get you know just spin it out We can get right in the corners. So this ain't, this ain't actually going to take long in the oven. It's about 25 to 30 minutes. So it's not long at all. Um, God, that tastes good. Um, yeah, so 
the oven's been preheating since I've started doing this video. So, yeah, just uh, pour the sponge cake mixture into the tray and bake for around 25 to 30 minutes. Keep an eye on the cake until it turns golden brown. You can see if the cake is done by inserting a skewer in the middle of the cake. It comes out clean and then the cake is done. So that's that simple. So we're going to pop this into the oven now. Right, guys, you know, as the light went off, I got my uh, lamp. I was going to use that as a plan B, but... I kept flicking the switch a few times and it came back on. Right guys, so this is the cake. It's now uh, cooked, 25 minutes. It's nice and spongy, but very hot. So I'm gonna let that cool now for around 15 minutes in the tin, uh, tin, tray, sorry. Uh, and then after 15 minutes, I'm gonna turn it out onto the wire rack. Right guys, so as it's been 15 minutes, I'm gonna take it from the tray, okay. This tray is still quite hot, so let's do that like that. Put it on like that. And we're going to move this over to be washed. It is hot, so. Now, for this cake, we want it to complete the cool. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Uh, I'd say 20 minutes maybe and see how it is. Oh, that broke. I'm going to leave it in the paper. Uh, and I'm just going to leave it there for about half hour. And then I'll check back with you and let you know. Right guys, so it's been like an hour. It's now cold. Uh, I've got a bit of a crack, but... The icing should cover that up. Um, so we need 400, I think it's 400 grams of icing sugar, eight tablespoons of milk. So what I'll do is, what I'm gonna do first is weigh out the icing sugar, use half the milk. So I'm gonna use four tablespoons of the milk to, just to check it, just to see, cause I like the icing thick, so. Let's do that first. Right guys, so uh, I'm using Asda's icing sugar, just you know, normal basic icing sugar. So we need 400 grammage. It's going everywhere. My bowl's not big enough, guys. I'm gonna have to switch bowls. Right, so this 150 grams. Well, I hope I've got enough. Oh, I've, I've not got enough. It's smoky. Run out. We've got 345 grams. That'll have to do. There's nowhere else open at this time, so that's what I'll have to use. Right, there is my icing sugar. So, um, it does look a lot, but I suppose once you mix it up, it's not actually a lot. So one, two, three, four tablespoons. I'll give that a mix and see how it looks. So I'm just giving it a stir. So as you see, let's get in there. That's quite thick. 
ประมาณตันไหนตันไหนแล้วมาแปลว่าเนี่ยไม่มีอะไรมาอีกวันมั้งวันมั้งทีบุสเปนด์ออฟมิลค์ so just pouring it all out You can see where there's not enough icing. I don't think there's enough for this cake. That's why you need 400 grams. Never mind. You live and learn. I should have checked earlier, really. So. Because there was not enough icing, this is why it looked patchy. But never mind. Uh, I'm just gonna, you know, do the sprinkles. The recipe says 50, 50 grams of sprinkles. I'm gonna use the whole pot. This whole pot is 85 grams. Might as well use it all, so then. There we go. You wouldn't even notice there's a crack. Perfecto. So apart from uh, the icing situation, I'm very impressed with this cake. Well guys, that is my uh, old school sprinkle cake, uh, tray bake. Um, I'm very happy with this. Um, so that is the video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please give the video a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll catch you again very soon. Bye.